Hi, Sax Bums. Today we're going to be putting our mouthpiece, neck, and reed together. So the first thing that you need to have is the neck of your saxophone. So make sure you've very carefully gotten that out of your case. You also need your mouthpiece, okay? And with your mouthpiece, there is a ligature and then also this mouthpiece cap, which we um, just kind of fits over to protect uh, your reed and to protect your mouthpiece when that's when that is together. Um, the other thing that you need is a reed. So I've got my reed case here with four reeds, which you can go ahead and put four good reeds in. And what we do is we trade and play a different reed every single day to make sure that we are not using one reed continuously. If you wore the same pair of jeans or the same pairs of shoes every single day, those would wear out a little bit faster. Same thing with our reeds. If we use the same reed every single day, then it's going to wear out a little bit faster. So we want to make sure that we're trading out as we go. So I'm going to use my reed for today. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is lay the flat side right here on the, on my tongue and get that wet. Okay. Then I'm going to lay, flip it over and put the other side on my tongue and make sure that is wet. Okay. Now the side with the words right here, you also want to put that on your tongue and make sure that is wet because you want all of the reed to be wet. The only part that you don't need to lay on your tongue, the shiny part here, doesn't necessarily need to lay on your tongue because that doesn't need to be wet. But everything else should be wet. It'll probably, the shiny part will probably be wet anyway. That's fine. Stick the tip back in your mouth for safe kiffy, for safekeeping when you're ready to go. Now, um, I am going to put my mouthpiece on my um, saxophone. So I'm going to put it just like this, okay? And I should be about that much cork left, maybe a little more, somewhere like that, about that much cork left, okay? So then I'm going to hold the mouthpiece and neck so that the window or the open part of the mouthpiece is facing me, okay? Then I'm going to take my ligature. This is the thing that holds the reed on. Now I'm gonna face this towards you, okay? Yours should look just like this. If I were doing it, I would hold it like this, but I'm gonna show you, okay? So the window is facing you. You wanna hold your ligature so that the screw is on the right side and also on the back. And then I just place that right over the top, just like that. So the screw is always on the right because, um, these ligatures are made for right-handed people. Don't know why, they just are, okay? So always on the right, and it's on the back if you're, the window's facing you, or if you're holding it where it's pointing at you and the window's down, it's on the top. Right and top, right and back, same thing, okay? Just like that. Now, I'm gonna hold this with my left hand on the, on the neck and the mouthpiece, just like this, and I'm gonna wiggle my ligature up and down with my thumb and first finger. The reason I'm going to do that is because I now want to slide with my right hand slide the reed into the mouthpiece just like this it doesn't go in the window okay so it doesn't go in here it slides between the mouthpiece and the ligature just like this now i'm going to use my thumb and first finger and just kind of wiggle that down to where there is no space between the mouthpiece and ligature okay or no space between um on the sides it's not over here okay it's exactly in line with where it needs to be and everything is in line now i'm going to move the ligature down okay if i need to loosen the screw do that until you can just see this ligature line so that line that goes right there you want to make sure that you can see that so that um your ligature is down past that again make sure your reed is completely straight never touch the tip of the reed and then tighten now that that is completely ready to go, everything is straight, everything is good to go, your ligature's on correct. Actually, mine's a little crooked, so I'm gonna scooch it over some. Straighten my reed back up, and everything's tight. Tighten your ligature all the way. Now you're ready to play. Next video.